Hi guys, it's Shell Heart of It All Custom Creations. Welcome back to another video. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Hit that subscribe button to see future videos. I post new videos every week. So today we are doing a um, something a little different, but super easy. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm starting with this um, sublimation tumbler 20 ounce. I tried something on it, hated it, cleaned it off as best I could. And we're just going to use this. I got this um, mica powder, and it's like a Ren Renfio, I think is what it's called. And um, it changes color So with the heat of your hand or the heat of anything. So I'm going to use my tacket over and over, and I'm going to put um, a really nice thick coat. Thick, but not too thick, if that makes sense. But just one all over the entire tumbler. Now... Because I'm not base painting this, you will be able to see um, kind of through it, but I'm not really worried about it. I just made this for me. I wanted to test out this mica powder. So I use my heat gun to um, make it go faster, and then I put out, pulled out like a makeup, makeup brush. I cannot speak today. A makeup brush, and I'm going to um, open this and put it all over the tumbler. Um, it starts out pink and then with the heat, it'll turn to a white. Um, it's pretty cool. So the first thing I'm doing is, like I said, putting this all over the tumbler. And this is just kind of a base, but I am also going to do, um, two coats of epoxy over this with this mica mixed in with it. And as you can see, like my hand changed it, um, so the first coat I'm going to do, I just did 10 milliliters. Um, I wanted to see how the kind of coverage that was first. And um, then the second coat I did was 20 milliliters. So I'm just using what fell on my paper to put into my epoxy. Mix that all up and then I'm going to put that onto my tumbler. And with using your hand to spread this, it is actually kind of hard to see if you're getting it on there evenly because it starts turning white. And when I'm using my heat gun or my heat um, flame thing, whatever it's called, um, that's <laughs> it kept changing to white. So now this is after the second coat and um, it was, we had turned on our air conditioning. So it was super cold in my room. So you can kind of see where my hand is um, changing it, but... Um, it wasn't as dramatic as I had hoped because my room was so cold. So I'm going to go ahead, clean up the rim. And um, if you pay really close attention, you can see um, the, the markings from the other tumbler I tried to make and I didn't like it. So it comes through, but it's fine. It gives it a little bit of character. And so I'm going to put temporary tattoos on this. Um, I wanted this something very, very simple um, and not take away from the color changing, which um, would be hard to do. But if you're in, you know, outside drinking, I think this is definitely going to be a more vibrant change. And these are just like a pack of temporary tattoos I got off of Amazon. If I can find them again, um, I will put those in the description box below. So I'm just going to kind of do this at an angle, um, do one on each side. And then on one of the temporary tattoos came with smaller bunches of flowers. And I'm going to put that on there too. But you just take off that protective sheet, place it down. Do not move it <laughs> because um, once you lay it down on your tumbler, it kind of adheres a bit. And then you go ahead and you put your water on it. Um, the, you know, get water on a paper towel or a regular towel, um, spray it directly, however you, um, find it best that works for you and, um, and let that soak until the backing comes off of the temporary tattoo. Thank you. 
So I'm gonna peel back just a little bit of that corner to make sure that it's releasing fine. And it was. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull off the rest of the backing. And I do this very carefully. So I'm patting it to dry so that I can do the other side. And doing the same exact thing with this and the two little um, bunches of flowers also. And you can tell when it's all wet or not. Um, if it's got any bright white on it, then it has not um, soaked through yet. and took off the backing of that one. So once these are done, and I let this sit and dry overnight, um, just to make sure they were nice and dry before I would apply any epoxy. And when I went to apply my epoxy, I just did two final coats of um, epoxy clear so that you can actually still see the flowers. And, um, and I really love how it turned out. Like I said, my room is so cold right now that it's hard to um, get it to change colors. But you can kind of see here where it's a more vibrant pink and then a little bit white. Um, and I tried so hard to get, <laughs> to get it to change color, but um, it does change color. But I really like this. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a great big thumbs up. And I'm excited to see what other things that I can use this mica powder for um, to make a different impact on different tumblers. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.